joined by author Andrew Winston of Winston Eco Strategies. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Not at all. Uh, let's start off with green jobs. That's the right. core. I think this is the key to combating climate change. Um, you've written Green to Gold and you've just penned Green Recovery. Tell me about that. Well, I felt pretty compelled to, to put something new out because when the recession hit, companies were starting to talk about putting their green initiatives to the side and we had such big momentum in the private sector for a number of years and they felt like it was too expensive so I felt you know I, I believe that the companies were still facing this mental hurdle of seeing green as equal to cost uh, and not as a way to lower costs which is how I see it green lowers costs it drives innovation it's a fundamentally new and better way of doing business and I think it also does create jobs this is the big topic and I think in the last 10 20 years Business has gotten used to using layoffs as a way to get lean. And I believe we should get lean on stuff, not people. We're not going to save every job that way, but we are pretty wasteful in energy, waste, water. We could save a lot of money very quickly, and that'll help us survive this downturn and get ready for the future. You know, one of my favorite stories uh, in, in the new book, Green Recovery, is about innovation. And what's surprising about it is that it comes from a totally unexpected place. And there's this little cleaning company that is based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's an old 120-year-old company, and they make the, the big floor scrubbers that you see janitorial services pushing on hard floors. And this is a, a machine that's been the same for years and years. It's a company that had been the same for decades. And they changed entirely what their product does. They invented a product that instead of using chemicals in water, which is what every machine does, uses just tap water. And it works better, it works quicker. It's a longer story than that, but it works perfectly well. Um, and it means zero chemicals used on the floor, in the environment. So in hospitals, this is a great thing, in, in schools. And this is a totally disruptive innovation from a really unexpected place. So it's easy to look to cars and see the Toyota Prius and see some of these sort of more obvious changes. But there's these kind of innovations going on in parts of the business world that nobody knows about that are completely changing their industry. And we need a lot more of that. Are you encouraged by what you've seen here at the summit? Oh, absolutely. I think it's great to bring people together from literally all over the world and to bring regions together. And I think that theme of uh, you know, how do we uh, get sub-nations to work together, you know, because frankly I think there's been some failure at policy, which is not probably controversial at the federal and global level. The Kyoto Protocol only works so well. It's unclear what's going to happen in Copenhagen. Um, I'm not particularly optimistic we're going to get to some grand global scheme. But at the same time, cities around the world have been greening themselves pretty aggressively. And you've got these regional carbon, you know, trading systems and, and you know, states like California obviously setting the standard. Um, and you know, states like Illinois meeting with uh, pieces of Brazil and Indonesia to talk about trading carbon. That kind of stuff is really powerful and this, this kind of meeting brings those people together so they can have these conversations. Brilliant. And finally, as an expert in green, what one thing would you consider the most important when combating climate change? The one thing? Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that's most important in combating climate change. Well, I mean, I, you know, I guess you know, if you want to, you could pick a technology, you could pick a particular part of the economy, transportation, or those are sort of obvious. I guess it's got to be a cultural shift. It's got to be a mindset shift. That's got to be the biggest thing. And, in, and from a corporate perspective, which is what I, I spend my time on, I think, again, seeing climate and seeing um, green as a business advantage, not as a cost, not as something you have to do. If you had that one shift in the business world, it would change everything and products and services would all start shifting dramatically and they're starting but if every company really got that that one big mindset change it would it would make an enormous difference wonderful well Andrew Winston thank you so much for your time glad and to be here congratulations thank you